Today we are going to create a drawing that involves movement. So this one is a little bit of an advanced drawing, although it seems very simple uh, when you just look at the final product. I do want you to consider pausing if you need to so that you can catch uh, the steps or look again. So pause and rewind if you need to. And here we go. We're going to make a moray eel. The very first thing that you need to do is that you need to create, well, I turned my sketchbook horizontally so I have more room and I will go in this direction. So you need to start by creating a, a line that is a curved line, like a letter S. That seems simple enough. So let's get that started. The next thing, you're going to make some straight lines right here and the curve right here you see it hug the curve right here hug this curve don't go all the way just up to there and on the end right there that's the beginning if you can get that done i think we're in a good place the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to create another line and it's going to look like a ribbon so now we are making one that you did so this line and this line are the same okay you see it and then right here we're going to do the same also we're going to go ahead and curve it and look at it it's just like one curve that matches this curve and we're going to get back here we're going to match this curve to this curve watch this perfect oh we're starting to create movement what all right um, so let's keep going because this is going to take some time. Now we're going to make this curve. Keep, keep watching. Curve it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to make like a sausage kind of. And it's going to end right here. Let's, let's figure out where it's going to end. It's going to end right here. It's going to start right here. Where does it start? Where does it end? And how does it curve? So watch this. It's going to curve like this. <laughs> oh, I curved it too far, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's leave it like this. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to create another little curved line. And we're going to focus on where does it start and how does it curve. Where does it end? It's going to be like right here. And we're going to take it up to right here. And it's going to go like this. Remember, draw very softly all throughout because what you want to do is that you want to have the ability of erasing if you need to. Okay, and then it's right here. Check it out. Start to curve these already. Curve it out. Curve it. Curve it. Okay. Always have your eraser handy because we clean as we go. Just a bit. Right here, bring it a little bit more. And then I'm going to make another curve. It's going to start right here. And it's going to end over here. Okay, so we're going to take it right here. Watch this. Softly, not too easy. And remember, this line kind of mimics this line. So this curve, same as this curve to do that. Very good. Now it feels like this. Flows. And that's what we want. We want to have that flow. Alright. 
these. Looking at these here helps me to see how flowy this one needs to be because it all goes together. Okay, now we are going to make another line, but this one is crazy. It starts right here and it's gonna come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, and connect to the curve. Okay, so it connects right here. Watch where I'm going right here, right here. Make yourself a little dot. So it helps you to see where you're going. And this one's gonna be skinny, 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 skinny. And then it comes up. Right, right. Working the tail of our more wheel. Very good. I think we have all the parts necessary. That's the body. What? Um, over here. Let's make an angle. There it is. Starting to round out the body. Remember how we did before in our previous lessons? So we round out the body. We want to round out the body. Then we want to open up the mouth. Right there, I think it's good. And we're going to make an arm. There she goes. We're starting to look <laughs> like some something curvy. I'm gonna round out the body back here too. So I'm gonna take away this straight line and this line right here. It's gonna connect to this line right here. I know it's so tricky. it so it feels like it goes with this. See it? See the adjustment I just made? Did you catch yourself? Um, making some mistakes. Took some pause, tricks, restart, rewind. It's all good. We're practicing how to make more you and how to make it look how it is moving. And I think that's a little bit more like an organic shape. So we needed the hard edges, the hard lines to get started. But after all that is done, then you can start to curve, curve things out a little bit more. See, I'm gonna curve, curve that corner. And this is all curved here. Good. Ah, there we go. And then I'm gonna clean up the mouth. Now that we have gotten this far, we need to, wow, that was, that was pretty cool. Now we are going to start talking about how we need to think about how we shade this more eel. And more eels also have like spots. They have some patterns on their body. So we are going to make those. And to make the spots look realistic, we're gonna make it a little bit soft edged not really a circle but more like a bumpy thing and they're kind of hugging the body and we're gonna go like this hug the body make some more make some more so like that and there could be some right here some right there some in the middle nice and round but they're hugging the body and make some more right here it's important because it will help to complete the illusion. I have some little ones. And all throughout the body. Okay, I think I want it to be a little bit more plain here. Uh, it almost looks like camo, this thing. It goes. Bigger sections, smaller sections, itty bitty ones, organic looking ones. 
Okay, just have fun with this part, okay? And this happens all throughout. So you gotta keep making them. I try to do the main part of the body first. Um, because I find that helpful. Ones. Super cool. Remember, it's kind of like camo. Camouflage. Alright, I feel like I have enough of those. Remember. Okay. I'm gonna make the eye. Make sure you can see it. Very good. Woo! Now the next thing we have to do is actually to shade. Um, this more eel so that it does look three-dimensional remember to shade with the side of the tip nice and softly bring it in slow and you don't want to go just shade straight out like this you want to follow the contour of what you're shading so i'm going to start right here because of that and i'm gonna not think too much about the spots right now i'm just thinking about shading the bottom part right here shade all the way to here I just did my first soft layer of shading let's see if I'm happy with it okay. I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher okay. as you see that your shading and your lines begin to lose their sharpness you go and reapply pencil on them okay and this one look like just a very slight slight little bit of shading down here but i do need some right here let's do this together and we're doing one little layer of shading on everything kind of giving ourselves a little road map for what's to come. Down here, I will be shading from here. It's a little bit above the line. Above the line. And here mostly. See, I'm reapplying on the line to separate the two sections. And then coming up a little bit. Soft. Okay, and then giving it. This is tucked in. Remember, anything tucked in or tucked under needs to be shaded. And then it stops as we go away, right here. It doesn't go all the way. So you really have to pay attention where it stops. Now I'm reapplying my marks. And actually, if you darken the whole mark, then there's no need for reapplying anything. Just check it out. There we are. Oh, that's much more helpful. There we go. And remember, sketchbooks are for experimenting. So don't feel like, oh, it's not perfect. Mine is so smudgy. I erased it 10 times. I hear all those, all those things. And I am here to tell you, in your sketchbook, you are king. Do what you want. Try what you will. Okay. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Let me go ahead and darken this first. I will darken this first. And then I will come back. And do the shady part. So I don't lose the definition. And I don't get confusion. So now that I have my heavy marks, now I feel more comfortable to go over here. Okay. Follow, follow the contour of my drawing. The thing about shading also is that it has to have some fading as you go away. So you go lighter and lighter and lightest. And then you have to redefine the lines as you go, as I just redefined that one. And also, you 
have to watch if any marks happen make sure that those marks are going to be directional and they will aid or they will help your sketchbook in the end there should be light dark light dark light next to dark makes things pop okay basically anything tucked under needs to be shaded here shade it i think i'm doing good that's pretty good i'm gonna go to this section again i'm gonna go about this far so i'm gonna go let me mark this heavy i just realized oh that works better make the marks heavy before i start shading but you gotta be careful not to touch them because <laughs> Oh, that graphite is going to rub on your hand, you're going to touch down on the paper, and you're going to stain the paper. Before you know it, you have a mess in your hands. Remember where to stop. Bring it in slow. Redefine the edge. Ooh. There you go. Got that one. And... This ones I already did, so I'm just gonna make this dark. I'm not touching, see how I'm working from far, far away from my gear, like it's hot, I don't wanna touch it. Cause I don't want that graphite in my hands. Three marks. Some marks. It's so easy to make these marks now since I already did them. And all I have to do is like, since I drew the marks, I just had to like shade them, color inside them with the pencil, basically. to shade these a little darker. Remember to define the edge. Define it. So now I'm going to go a little. I don't have to go so heavy now because I already have the first layer. Remember the blending is key. So a little blending going on here. Find the corner here. The curve. Slowly, softly bring it in. It's very satisfying to go in here and see how it starts to <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see a little bit more. As you get closer to the edge, it gets darker. As you get closer to the middle, it gets lighter. And as you come out here, it gets darker again because it's the separation of sections. This is what makes it pop, guys. There it is. Oh my goodness. It's a heavy. Wait, no. There. That's perfect. At this time, you need to clean up any smudges or anything like that that you may have on your page. I don't think I would have done too much more. <clears throat> but this one, it, it was a long, a long one because. The shading does take time and I had to explain. So now you know, I know. This is called Okay. There you go. See you tomorrow.